probably we will soon start running Helta Seketas. Yes, you heard me right, Helta Seketas. Because Nigeria as a country has been declared bankrupt. <laughs> Have you ever seen celebrities that declare bankrupt? Do you see their life after they declare bankrupt? Hey, hey. It's something not very easy for them. But thereafter, um, the presidency of um, the APC is in shock as their own supporters of the All Progressive Congress actually hail Peter Obi over daring the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's led administration to disclose the degree of bankruptcy. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, ah, when were we declared bankruptcy on anything? Just calm down. Now, a lot of people are aware that recently, from the corner of the President, Rabadu Nuhu, we, or rather, he revealed that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu did not meet any penny in the treasury. Like, pata pata, there was no money left for Nigerians after um, the former president, um, Mohamed Buhari, left. That he did not leave anything behind. Are you perceiving something fish? Have you heard this kind of comments before? We're getting to that point. Now, as a result... Of um, the flag, as a result of this whole thing, the flag bearer of the Labour Party and the former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, has now come out to challenge the president, Bola Metinibu, to disclose the level of bankruptcy for the country. At least, it is our duty to know, ah, this is the level of bankruptcy. So we we'll know if we we'll start running or if we we'll stay to build. That, that's the honest truth because some Nigerians are definitely going to hear this and decide that, oh, I want to leave Nigeria. Now, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party for the 2023 general presidential election has demanded that the president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu, of the All Progressive Congress, disclose what his government inherited from the past administration of President Muhammad Buhari that actually plunged Nigeria into bankruptcy. Now, according to Sahara reporters, um, they had reported that, at the national, that the National Security Advisor, Nuhu Rabadu, claimed that the President Bola Metinibu's led administration inherited a bankrupt country from Buhari's administration, which led to the current financial distress. Now, it's no longer them saying that the economic distress of Nigeria is actually caused by the um, Russia and Ukraine war. Now, they're not taking it back to the previous led administration by um, Muhammad Buhari. That, that's interesting for us to hear. Um, now, Rabat Dunu, who further went ahead to say this in Abuja on Monday, when he spoke at the Chief of Defense Intelligence Annual Conference 2023, had noted that the President Bola Metinibu inherited an empty treasury from his predecessors when he came to power only a few months ago. Now, reacting to these claims, reacting to Rabadu's claims, um, Peter Obi said that the president, Bola Metinibu's led government, has failed to disclose what they inherited, which had qualified the country from bankruptcy status. Now, stressing that one major characteristic of responsible government is transparency and strict accountability. Now, going on his social media page, X, formerly known as Twitter platform, the former governor of Anambra said, that I just read yesterday in a widely publicized story from the present, present APC-led federal government saying that they inherited a bankruptcy nation from their predecessor APC administration, but the story failed to disclose what they inherited, which had qualified us for bankruptcy status. Exactly. You said we have been declared bankrupt. How much have we lost? Tell us, because we want to know as Nigerians now. One major characteristic of responsible government is transparency and strict accountability. The demands that the government disclose the degree of deficit the inherited um, government should disclose it to enable the public to know how and where we are headed. Now, recall that, or be recall that, the previous or progressive Congress government under the leadership of the former president, Muhammad Buhari, made a similar claim in 2015. Now, I remember at the beginning of this story, I told you that they had, even if you can perceive something fishy, like this comment had been said before, and it was said in 2015 by the, um, 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 Muhammad Buhari's government that, oh, PDP did not leave anything for them, or they declared bankruptcy. Or, and this similar claim was made in 2015 against the People's Democratic Party administration that handed over to them. Now, without telling Nigerians what it actually inherited, they took our debt profile from 12.6 trillion naira in 2015 to 87 trillion naira in 2023. That is like double its percentage. 
from 12.6 trillion to 87 trillion naira just in the space of 2015 to 2023 and without improving on any indices of development like education health poverty eradication and security instead the condition of nigeria of the nation on every development index got worse leading to the present sad states nigerians know things are bad and they experience it every day what they need now or what they need to hear regularly are measurable and verifiable steps to improve the situation and also the alarms raised by the government about the bad state of our finances raise this question you know about the um, rationering behind some expenditures items in the supplementary budget recently signed into law you know i told you previously that just for the election on our previous news i said just for election of three states it was given 18 billion naira and that was because after um the whole uh, um saga of we nigerians not letting he, the president have his yacht of five billion naira they had to now reduce the money into different areas of governments like security and some certain places and giving student loan and we're not to shake tables we haven't heard anything so far on how that student loan goes or how it's even going at this point now the present revelation also goes to buttress the argument that i had made that I had made during the electioneering seasons that the cost of governance is too high and must be drastically reduced. Now, a bankrupt country should channel every available resources into funding critical development sector like security, healthcare, education, and eradication of poverty by addressing youth unemployment, not spending in non-essential areas. So what we expect are measurable and verifiable steps to improve the nation, the nation, he said. <laughs> He's talking to a man who doesn't believe in indices. Eh? Like, I think we've had our president say, eh, what are we doing with the eh, eh, statistics now? Our president doesn't believe in statistics. So him saying all these things, I feel is even, I would just say he's pouring water on a rock. Because so far, so good. The, for you to declare a country bankrupt, you need to tell us the level at which we are. We just don't want to hear bankruptcy, bankruptcy. We want to know at what level are we at this point as Nigerians. A few Nigerians got to react about this whole matter on, on social media after this whole publicity was made. And some of them are saying, tell us so if we have been declared bankrupt, let me know if I will go to Kotonou and go and stay. If you remember before when the news came out that from Lagos to London was more expensive than from Kotonou to London. <laughs> I'm still asking, are we the giant of Africa or the other giants in the jungle? Now, other reactions saying, why wouldn't they tell us how much we have owed or how much bankruptcy years that we find ourselves in? The truth is that they are leading Nigerians nowhere. Like um, the um, presidential candidates of the Labour Party has said, they should tell us so we we'll know where we are headed to. Just in case you have contrary opinions to this particular statement made by pre um, the pre um, presidential candidates of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Do well to send your message or do well to drop your comments on the comment section and we would look into it. Thank you very much.